three pound chuck roast, some carrots. Mmm. Love my carrots. I love that. Then we've got some red potatoes. They've been washed. Mm -hmm. We'll stick them in here. Red and white. Yes. And then we take a 12 ounce Coca Cola. Okay, we're going to drizzle that or pour it over. Or in any certain way? Or? No, no, just get it in here. Then we are going to take three fourths cup of ketchup. We're using Heinz tomato ketchup. Oh, what is that tool you got there, Kim? I have a new jar scraper I got That's for Christmas. What, that is nice. One of my grandchildren gave me like this. like that. And then we're going to take three-fourths cup of this chili sauce. This is chili sauce. Great on burgers and fries. Do we do we know what the difference between chili sauce and ketchup is? No, I can smell it. It's a... Is it like a little sweeter or something? It, it's a little sweeter, but um, we're trying this um, to see how it does. And then we have... Half a cup. Light brown sugar. Three-fourths cup of light brown sugar. Mm. You can use dark or light. I have light. I love that. I'm going to mix this up And here. if people are wondering where you get your shirts at, Kim, where do we tell them? Uh, Laney B and Messy Moms. That's it's where my, you got this one? Yeah, my that daughter does it. cute. Yeah, they, they ship all over the U.S. That is fact. amazing. Last item is a Lipton onion soup mix. Ooh. We're going to just shake it out here. Is that just going to add some salt, some flavor into yes, it? Yes, yes. The onion soup mix really just blends it all together. Now, if y'all have any any uh, desire for shirts or a cookbook or something, we're kind of just trying to decide if we want to go that route. So you just let us know in the comments and we'll start doing that. What do you think about that, Kim? That sounds like a wonderful mm -hmm. idea. Now, we're going to let this cook on high for four to six hours, or you can do low eight to ten hours but we're gonna try the high okay all right let's see how it finishes up hey <gasps> Kim. Oh, it smells delicious it looks so good well, i'm gonna eat me a potato and some carrots and we here. gotta cut us some meat off too yeah that looks oh that nice. looks good it does look nice okay you think the meat's tender and oh yes look oh it just falls right off the yeah. and it falls uh, right apart it does. It's just I don't want a big hunk. I don't want to waste. You, yeah. Do you like meat? I, yeah, I do. Do y'all like meat? Who? Do y'all like meat or veggies more? Which one of y'all? I don't think we can live without meat, but looks pretty good to me. You just put a little salt on my potato. Uh huh. Well, let's try this. Oh, oh, let me there he goes. My potato rolling around. Oh, look how soft that is. Looks a little dry, but. No, I think, oh, look at there. Is that meat dry? No. I've never cooked a roast this way, mm -hmm. but it sure smells good, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna fix it and find out. I can't, I got You can't even food. get. <laughs> mm. Really good? Mm hmm. Uh, this three pound feet in there, along with two diced green peppers. Look at that. One whole onion. So you just chop this up in, what is that called, a chopper? Or? Yeah, it's like a chopper. It's a ninja. A, not, a ninja chopper? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we've got three eggs. Or Kim calls them butt nuggets. Butt nuggets. This is my sister, folks, and there's Kim. She's just hanging out tonight. Three eggs. Now, These, we're serving 24 people with this, or? Yes, something like that, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What do you got here? This is a sleeve of saltine crackers. Uh-huh. We're gonna crush them and put them in there. That'll create a binder for the meat. There we go. That's, that's what we're talking about. All right. Miss one moment. So, we've got all this in here. Mm -hmm. Now let's take some pepper. Be generous, because there's like five pounds of meat in here. How many pounds is that meat? Five pounds. That's five pounds of That's meat? That's five pounds of meat. I thought it was like a pound and a half. No. That's a lot of meat. That's five and a half pounds of meat. So we're gonna put some salt. Now, start mixing it up. And this is before you put the sauce in? This is before I put the sauce in. I try to get all the crackers and the bell pepper and the onions all mixed in. With the egg? Yes, and I, I my hands are washed. 
I washed them right before, didn't touch anything else. Now, do you ask other people to wash their hands? I pretty much, I mean, if it's a clean cook, I don't ask them to wash their yeah. hands. I just go with the flow and... I mean, this is how I was raised. What do you tell the people that say wear gloves when you're cooking your home dinners? I'm cooking for my family. Yeah. You know, my family knows mm -hmm. that I put love and care and I wouldn't dare, you know, feed them dirty. You know? Yeah, you, so, clean, you clean the dirt out of under your fingernails. Oh, yeah. Scrub them with a brush. Uh -huh. You can't find a lick of dirt under there. Mm. Now is the time for the barbecue sauce. What are we using? Sweet Baby Ray's. Okay, traditional? Traditional. Squirt it all in there. The whole bottle? Well, but this is with five pounds of meat. So yeah. with that, almost all of it, I yeah. say probably two thirds of the bottle. Love that. And we just mix there again. We I mean, it. this looks like it's going to be absolutely delicious. Oh, it's amazing. I know I'm not a big meatloaf fan, mm -hmm. but I do love this meatloaf. All right, so we got that all nice and mixed. All nice and mixed. Now we dump it. Whoa, Here's look at that head. big meat. Get everything out of it. We're going to mash it down. So you mash the big meat down. You do. You do. And you don't want it to overflow. And there's a trick for the grease when you're making meatloaf. Uh -huh. Tuck it under. Then you have a little, like, moat for your fat. grease. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you just... They call it a, a grease trap? Yeah, it's like a grease trap. What love that. And so all the grease will gather around here. Nice. So that you don't have it all yeah. in there. All right, that looks good and done. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 degrees. This is a very large one, so it might take an hour and a half, but usually when I make one that's just a couple pounds, I do it for an hour. Okay. All right. Mm. Holy, you put ketchup on it too in the in, I in the did, room? I did. Look at that thing. It's. This is five pounds of Pure girth meat. <laughs> yes. And the little, the grease is in the wells. Yes. Around. And so you can actually scoop the scoop grease up and just pour, pour it, it on the meat after. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Look at the meat. Mm. Very hot. Careful. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Just kind of squeezing it out on there. Squeezing it out on here. Doesn't matter what kind you use. No, you can use whatever if you get it from Walmart, Kroger. Or, and we're going to get this browned up. Mm -hmm. Then while that's going to be browning, we're going to add one stick of butter to our saucepan. That's nice and melted. Okay, now we're going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, two cups of heavy whipping cream. Mm. So you know the sauce is going to be really good with the heavy mm -hmm. whipping cream. And one cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're going to let this boil for about um, 10 minutes while the meat's finished. All good and melted. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a jar of any flavor, spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. pour it over our meat that we've already drained. And mix this up, let it get warm. Nice, we're going to go right over here now. Okay. We're going to take our cooked spaghetti noodles. Mm -hmm. We're going to put them in our 9 by 13 pan. Oh, wow. Noodles all spread out. You're gonna take your white sauce. Mm -hmm. We're gonna spread it all over. And this is the Parmesan cheese, yes. heavy whipping cream. Butter and a tablespoon of flour. Now that you've got all that in there, I'm gonna just, it's my, um, Parmesan sometimes doesn't melt exactly mm. all the way down so i'm going to spread it out a little bit here then we're going to take our meat sauce 
We're going to put it on top. Just a little bit there. Looks good. And you take your spatula and kind of spread it on. Then we've got some Italian style shredded cheese that we're going to put on top. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. Let all the seasoning and cheeses blend together. And have a delicious supper for tonight. We're just in time for lunch. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Whoa. Wow. That looks Look good. At that. Okay. Mm. I like this. I mean, this all looks, that looks like a nice chunk Piece of cheese of right there. Oh, that does look good. So this is like a spaghetti lasagna? Yes. I still see it clapping real hard. You see like white. Burn your mouth. White sauce, and I bet will be mm -hmm. what's so good. Oh, sir, you gotta get that piece right there though, right? With yeah, the well, cheese. Oh yeah, that's a bite. But we don't want it to burn. Blow, we all blow, all blow on it. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Mm. What would you give that one? Um, at least a 9 out of 10. It's really good. It's cheesy and creamy. And the sauce is good. It's like spaghetti, but like upgraded. Mm. Got some rotisserie chicken. Just kind of get it nice and spread out. Yes, just spread it out there in the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take a thing of Spanish rice. Oh. It's pre-cooked, so I'm just gonna... Is it dry or is it just oil on it or something? No, it's just, that's how it's packaged. You're gonna have to break it up a little bit. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's it's fine. That's just how that comes. Okay, we got another, our second bag of rice. I mean... And we're just crumbling. I mean, this may not be good, this, but I bet it's gonna be good. We found this online too. I mean, who knows? You just got to try them. Yeah, Google just gives you ideas, and we just go for it, folks. All right, what do we got next? Okay, we got a half a cup of some chicken stock. We're just going to put on there. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Just kind of get that. Spread that around there. And then we're going to take our spoon and try and mix it up mm -hmm. with our little chicken stock. Nice. That'll flavor. It's nice and mixed. Okay, we got combined there. Then we're going to add a can of uh, black beans that we have drained and rinsed. Do you like white beans? Or I do you like, like black better? Oh, I like either one. They're totally different. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're totally different. Can of whole kernel corn washed and drained. So we don't really have a can taste. But don't that look pretty? Then we're gonna take a cup of salsa. Jeez, those are cute cups too. Yes, they are. That's that pioneer woman. She's pioneering them things out there. Yeah, now we'll just take this, spread it around. Mm -hmm. where everybody gets a little bit of salsa. Gets a little bit of love. Mash that down there. And then we're gonna take some sharp cheddar cheese, of course. We have to add our cheese because if we're not clogging, we're not clogging <laughs> out here. And it's just a quick meal. It looks quick and easy. One pan. About looking good. For about 30 minutes as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see this. Okay. Look at that. Tyler, are you ready to try this thing? Oh, of course I am. Of 
Corn's hard to digest, but maybe yeah, if you chew it up. Little, that's not burnt. That's the little black beans. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm worried about that. Mm -hmm. Right here, good. Mm -hmm. but this is our chicken, rice, corn, mm. cheese. Wow. See how it is. Yeah, a good bit of everything. And you're getting all your different food categories in that one. Mm hmm. Well, she can't grab the black beans. All right, just go. Might want to eat it with a spoon. You got them. Mmm. Mmm. 